Welcome back to the Wildfire video tutorial series. In this segment, we are going to talk about choosing a domain name for your website. An effective domain name is very important. People need to find your website. They do this by entering the domain name in their browser. It is like the address for your website. They might also find your website on Google or other search engines or through links on Facebook or other places. In every case, you want a good domain name for them to use. Each website has a unique domain name. Different websites may have similar domain names, but domain names for different websites can never be exactly the same. Most domain names use standard characters. These include the Latin or Roman letters and numbers on a traditional English keyboard. In some instances, special characters can be used. We will talk about that a little later. Domain names are not case sensitive. This means that uppercase and lowercase letters are treated the same by web browsers. It may be helpful in promoting your website to write the domain with uppercase letters to make each word clear. As we see in this example, Voice of Yakan with capital letters to distinguish the words is the same as Voice of Yakan with all lowercase letters. Now let's talk about what makes a domain name effective. It should be easy. Easy to say, easy to write, easy to remember, and easy for search engines to find. Choose words that communicate the meaning of your website. And choose words that people commonly use. Here are a few good domain names. www.hammermedia.org www.voiceofyakan.com, www.suwalayakan.com. They are easy to say and write, and easy to remember. Here are some poor examples. Try to avoid using underscores, hyphens, or any other punctuation in your domain name. Too many words will make it complicated to type or remember. Before you submit a domain name request to us, get opinions from other people. This can include people you report to. Domain names always have an extension at the end. The most common ones are .com, .org, and .net. There are a lot of other, lesser-known extensions that can also be used. .com was originally short for company and was mostly used for businesses. It is now commonly used for a variety of types of websites, so it is acceptable to use the .com extension for most websites. .org is short for organization. These sites are typically associated with nonprofits, charities, and non-governmental organizations. .net stands for network, and was initially used for sites that provided network services. Today, it's used more widely and as a general extension. You may choose any of these extensions for your website. Some domain names use special characters. These domain names are called internationalized domain names. These use characters from some other languages and scripts, but not all please ask us for help. Let's look at some examples of internationalized domain names. The website visitor enters this in his or her own language. But this is what we registered. If we register an internationalized domain name for you, we suggest that you also register a standard domain name. 
Here is an example of that. The website visitor enters this name in the browser. We registered the name like this. And in case the visitor enters the name in a more traditional way, we also registered this name. Now it is time for you to think about and choose the domain name for your website. Contact your implementation manager with your domain name selection. This is the end of this segment of the Wildfire video tutorial series.